Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Ryan Kelly and today we're going to be talking about another Gravity Falls analysis video. Now here's the thing though, as you are probably aware of, I normally do episodes two at a time, but this is by far my favorite episode in season two, so I definitely want to do the review of this one now. And there was a ton of interesting theories and analyzing and stuff like that that they threw at the end of the episode that I really want to discuss right now before anyone else discusses about it. So without ado, let's begin the analyzing of episode 10 of Gravity Falls. So I'm actually not going to be talking about the huge theory for the first part of this video. I'm actually going to talk about a really, really small detail that I loved so much about this episode. So in episode 2 of season 2, you'll notice how the creature, I can't remember its name from episode 2, transforms into Dipper and then he freezes with a specific pose and he says you're gonna meet a fate similar to that. Well, in episode 10, Dipper becomes wood and is stuck in that same pose. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but it is a nice little touch that they added. I'm really glad they did that. It was one of my favorite parts of the episode. When I saw that, I was like, oh wow, he actually predicted it. So maybe the creature has already seen the future and already knows what's gonna happen to Dipper. So maybe that's why he warned him. Just a little small detail I thought I should point out. So the next thing I want to cover is the poster in the end of the episode. Now it shows Bill Cipher and two people bowing down in red skies. Now if you'll remember earlier on in the episode, before the ghost came in, they were talking about something rising from the forest. And coincidentally the picture is in the forest and blood was coming out of their mouths and the background was red. So Bill Cipher definitely is going to be the evil thing coming back. Maybe it's his full power, maybe he's in a bound form, maybe he has an unbound form where it's like a lot stronger. And we saw from the computer that from Old Man McGucket that there's 21 hours until this happens. Now, or at least that's what we think anyway, that's what we speculated. Something bad is going to happen in less than a day. This is the little theory thing I was talking about that they threw right at us at the very end of the episode. I do like how Dipper's characters developed as well as Pacifica's character. I don't know why I mentioned that, but I, I just thought I should point that out here because I'm not really going to point it out anywhere else. Just a little touch. What do you guys think is the meaning of this? I personally think that it's going to be Bill and he's going to become powerful and everything like that and open a horrible dimension full of evil. Alright, so it is time for the big theory of this episode. Now, this is going to be some crazy stuff, so listen up. Alright, at the end of the episode, you see the government agents in the closet talking about their signal going off again. Now, what could this mean? This could mean, very simply, that the portal went off. Or, it could be, Old Man McGucket's computer was giving up its own unique reading. But here's why I think it was Stanford that was using the portal. Because at the end of the episode, we get the code, Stan is not what he seems. Now, uh, why would they mention Stan when he wasn't even in the episode? Simply because he was using the portal since no one was home, and when they were at the home sequences, we didn't even see Stan. Now, why is he using a portal specifically at this time? Especially when the counter said there was 21 hours until something bad happened. Simply because this is supposed to happen. Stanford is supposed to cause a bad thing to happen because a government agent finds the portal, stops him from using it, which releases Bill Cipher's unbounded form, which we saw in the poster. The reason why I know it's the unbounded form is because this Bill Cipher has a red eye and is black, instead of it being him being yellow with a white eye. Now that is at least my thoughts, please let me know what your thoughts are about this crazy theory. Alright, thank you guys for watching this short video, I apologize for its length, but since it's only one episode, I can only cover so much in this. I mean, I could have talked about Pacifica and how her characters developed, and I could have talked about Dipper, and I could have talked about Mabel and all of that, but I think I will save that for the future. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, my name is Ryan Kelly. I hope you enjoyed this Gravity Falls video, and make sure you go check out Masterware because there will be some Gravity Falls exclusive content coming up on that channel very soon.